Android 4.2.2 gets a rumored release date. HTC prepares a new camera and sound experience for the M7. And Amazon, oh, Amazon is now offering coins. I'm Jaime Rivera. And no, I don't have any brick devices just yet. But this is Pocket Now Daily. For those of you waiting for Android 5.0 Keyline Pieware, though, seems to be a little bump on the road just before that. Apparently, Android 4.2.2 will be released mid-February, and then we could probably expect Keyline Pie to happen later. Now, there are no specifics on what we could expect on 4.2.2, but damn, that name is a great tongue twister. Now, apparently HTC is planning for more than just an M7 launch on February 19th. There are new rumors that their new camera technology, which is being dubbed UltraPixel, is not only on par with every single camera that's great right now, but apparently it's also as great as the 808 PureViews camera, which is 41 megapixels, which means we'll probably get some pixel doubling, but we sadly don't get any specifics on what we should expect, except for the fact that it'll be great. And we'll see about that. Apparently sound experiences are also getting good, but but since HTC lost their stake on Beats Audio, I wonder what that means. Stay tuned. So iOS 6.1 has brought a new mystery to the table. iPads are now showing a new radio buy button that's currently being hidden. And the question is, what is that? We all know that Apple is apparently working on bringing a new service to compete with Pandora or Spotify, but we sadly don't know what to expect yet. And given the fact that Apple usually has their music announcements until the fall, it's kind of hard to tell why iOS 6.1 includes that. Though we remember iTunes Match was launched at WWDC, so it could probably be that we could probably get something earlier, we'll just keep you posted. We don't know when that could happen. Now, on the other hand, some analysts at Barron's now have a new prediction that says that Apple's apparently working on a 5-inch phablet to be launched by the end of this year. And I'm not really going to even go into specifics. This is going to be a really small news post. Analysts at Barron's, just write this down. Not going to happen. And finally, for the ridiculous news of the day, Amazon is now releasing a new service called Amazon Coins to be launched in May. And yeah, as if the human race hasn't already spent the past five decades trying to get rid of coins in order to get paper bills, Amazon is now releasing a new service that you could actually buy in advance for you to be able to pay for Amazon services, which makes no sense at all when you already have Amazon one-click buying. I'm trying to figure out what's the point here, but that leads me to the question of the day. How big is Amazon right now in your buzz radar? How big are they? I mean, seriously, they completely lost their stake in my buzz radar with their Kindle devices this year. I've completely even forgotten there's a Kindle tablet out there, but leave us a comment down below. Do you really care about Amazon right now? And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching and stay tuned tomorrow for a lot more coverage on jailbreaking your iOS 6 device. City has been completely down lately, but we're waiting for that to get better for us to record more videos.